Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. On today's episode, I'll be showing you a recap of the best photos and clips of May and June 2022. The customer's concern is that they have a noise after installing a new power steering pump. The customer ended up cutting out a piece of the frame because he said there was no room for the power steering lines. Yeah, no shit. You cut your frame. Customer states, engine sounds like kazoo. The technician said this noise was caused by the wastegate being stuck open. This customer's van has an oil leak after another dealership just replaced the head gaskets. This technician found that they damaged the engine block in the process and tried to fix it with an epoxy. Customer states, engine light, ABS and traction control light on. Is that a bullet hole? Why, yes it is. The viewer who sent this in is now a proud cat dad and named her Cleo. And this customer came in after he had a friend do some work on his car. Long story short, his friend ended up filling the cooling system with engine oil. The customer declined all repairs. Customer states his ATV shuts off every time he turns right. And this customer came in because his brakes are shot. The customer told the mechanics he did this by accident while he was cleaning one of his pew pews in his garage. This truck got towed in after the customer had his upper ball joint break when he turned into a gas station. And if you look at the amount of rust on the upper ball joint, you can see it's been bad for quite a while. And this car got towed in because it wouldn't start after the customer did the oil change himself. The customer ended up filling the engine with a total of 30 quarts of oil. This chicken rode on the rear axle of this F-150 for over 20 miles from a nearby town to the shop. One of the technicians removed the chicken and took it home. Customer states the car makes a weird noise while idling. This is the old engine that came out of a BMW. The person who bought this for a project car thought it would just need a new timing chain as it's a common issue on these engines. But once the engine was taken apart, this is what they found, so they ended up buying a new engine. Customer states the engine overheated and it might also be seized. The technician did find the engine to be seized and the coolant filter to be very clogged. The purpose of the coolant filter is to help maintain proper engine heat transfer by filtering solid contaminants from the coolant and by minimizing corrosion and deposits in the coolant system. The customer's complaint is that their rear wiper does not work. And this customer said he installed a new timing chain on his engine and now it won't start. Customer states all four of his tires are flat on the bottom after driving over this weird bump in a parking garage. The technician found out they were driving the wrong way and drove over a traffic spike. And this customer's complaint is that their brakes aren't working properly after they drilled a hole in their brake booster to run a wire for their amp. This Jeep came in for some work unrelated to what you're about to see, but the technician noticed this when he was working on this vehicle. These are the power cables for the winch on the front bumper. <laughs> and 
and this vehicle came in because the customer says the speedometer doesn't work. The technician was pretty surprised on the condition of this Ferrari. He also noticed some spots on the instrument cluster were spray painted black because there were multiple warning lights on the dash. Customer states his ATV won't start. This customer had their vehicle towed in because it wouldn't start after they installed a K&N filter. We've got a Camry here that's done the head gasket and it had an overheating issue. So I thought I might throw in a nice brand new water pump. And uh, it's, yeah, probably needs it. Can't imagine why it was overheating at all. And this customer just came in for a tire repair and the technician noticed this vehicle was 6,200 miles overdue for a service. The technician told the customer there was no oil on the dipstick and they declined the service. This customer came in to get a quote to repair their BMW X5. The customer never mentioned how this happened. However, the customer's insurance company wrote off his vehicle. Fix this? Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah? <laughs> Half an hour, no problem. Yo, it looks like someone beat up with an ass. Someone pissed off the wife. <laughs> what about the roof? And the roof. Right this customer said someone they knew told them to do this to help keep rats out of their engine bay. This customer drove their truck to the shop like this. I say let it sit right there. A customer states car will not start. It was towed in. It's a 2020 Chevy Spark. Let's go see what's wrong with it. Okay, put the key in. Hmm. Something ain't right there. Yeah, I wonder why it won't start. There's no gas in it. All right, now that there's some gas in there. Whoa! The technician said this customer ended up doing his own wiring job and never installed a fuse in the circuit. These two customers had this happen to them while they were driving down the highway. Um, yes, ma'am. I um, picked up my vehicle and I'm missing my double-headed Joe. I didn't know whether you were in the vehicle and might have taken it. Um, if somebody could please give me a call back. 50 miles ago, this customer had new tires installed and was told by the other shop that the brakes look brand new. It's now at this shop for a tire repair and well, the brakes are new, but the other shop didn't mention anything about the brake rotors. And this person was driving on the highway when a turtle suddenly struck their windshield. The turtle was still alive and removed from the windshield and brought to an animal shelter. It's about to do it. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Man. There it goes. Go! Told you! Damn! Told you. <laughs> there it goes. Go! Told you! Damn! <laughs> and this customer had one of the tires blow out while driving on the highway. The mechanic also found the three other tires to have 90 PSI in them. This customer said they just had a mobile mechanic replace his trailer brakes, but it feels worse than before. And this customer came in because they keep hearing the noise when turning right.
It's everywhere. Jesus. This customer spilled 20 liters of gravy in their brand new Land Rover when they were on their way to a dinner event. And this customer came in because they have no power steering after just having a new power steering rack installed. The technician found the power steering lines resting against the CV axle, subframe, and serpentine belt. This vehicle came in for a service and the technician noticed the customer used flashlights as fog lights and actually had them wired to a switch. This customer's custom golf cart came in to get serviced, and the mechanic found this when he removed the cover for the differential. He said he has no clue on how this happened as he has never seen this before. This is a rental vehicle and it came in because they said the high voltage battery wasn't charging. The viewer who sent this in said they're not too sure on what they hit, but it'll be an expensive bill as everything related to the high voltage system is on the bottom of this vehicle. This customer came in for an inspection before going on a long road trip to own his RV. This customer came in because he thinks his truck might need new head gaskets and wanted to pay the shop to tear apart the engine to check. The technician later found out that the customer recently tried doing the head gaskets himself, but reused the old head gaskets and put RTV silicone on them. He also found the cylinder walls to be scored and the engine needed more than just new head gaskets. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing, and you can submit your clips at justrolledinyt.com. Thanks for watching.